Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today our topic is fail fast hydrogen and fail safe hydrogen. So have you been tired of browsing the internet just looking for the perfect answer? If so, then this is the perfect video for you. Let's have a look at a couple of interview questions. Is aggregator a class? What is concurrent modification exception? What is fail fast property? What is unsupported operation exception? Difference between fail fast and fail safe aggregators. Let's first try to have a look at concurrent modification. Now, modification of an object concurrently when a task is already processing it is called concurrent modification. Suppose we have a collection C. A task is iterating over the collection. Another task B tries to modify the collection at the same time. Now that is an example of concurrent modification. Fail fast iterators. If a structural modification is detected, then this iterator throws concurrent modification exception. Now, by structural modification, we mean addition, removal, or updating of elements while a collection is being iterated over. Example of these type of iterators includes iterator on array list, that of hash map. Now, we will be understanding how these fail fast iterators work. Fail fast iterators maintain an internal flag called mod count. This mod count gets updated every time a collection is modified. When the next method of the iterator is called, then the next value is returned, but at the same time it also checks the mod count flag. Now if this flag has been modified, after iterator has been created, then it will throw concurrent modification exception. Let's try to have a look at an example of fail fast iterator. Now we are creating a Java class and then we are having a main method, creating an array list, and then just storing some values. We are trying to iterate it using the iterator we are retrieving the value using the next method of the iterator and then we are trying to add a value x to the list now as we discussed just previously that whenever a value is being retrieved from the iterator using the next method then the mod count property is checked whether it has been altered or not now in this case since we are trying to add an element to the list then that flag has been modified so this will throw a concurrent modification exception now let's have a look at fail safe iterators even a structural modification is detected then this iterator does not throw an exception the structural modification done on actual collection goes unnoticed by these iterators because these type of iterators create a copy of the original collection. So while iterating, up-to-date data is not guaranteed. Examples of these type of iterators include iterators on concurrent hash map, copy on right array list how fail fast iterators work when an iterator is created it makes a copy of the underlying structure of the collection and then iterates over the snapshot of the collection any changes to the collection does not get reflected in the snapshot because we, whatever changes we are doing we are doing to the original collection not the snapshot so interference is not possible and it will never ever throw concurrent modification exception even though we modify the original collection now 
the drawback of these fail fast iterators is that if we try to use any methods like these on iterators itself then they will throw unsupported operation exception suppose we are trying to use remove set and add operations on iterators these are not supported and they will throw unsupported operation exception we will be trying to have a look at a fail fast sorry my bad we'll be trying to have a look at a fail safe iterator now we are having a main method creating a list which is copy on right array list we are adding a couple of cities and then we are trying to iterate over it now we are printing the cities using the iterate.next method and then we are adding a value to the list now in this case we are adding new city to the list and this will not throw an exception just because we are making change to the original collection and while iterating it creates a snapshot of the original collection and iterates over it so this is not going to throw any type of exception. Fail safe iterator and weakly consistent. Now sometimes you might be confused with the weakly consistent and fail safe iterator term. Now in case of congruent hash map it does not work on a separate copy although it's not fail fast. It is called weakly consistent. Now what do we mean by weakly consistent? Weakly consistent means it can tolerate concurrent modification while traversing and may reflect but not guaranteed concurrent modification. Let's try to distinguish between fail fast and fail safe iterators. So over here we are having a look at the differences between fail fast iterator and fail safe iterators. Now the good thing about fail fast iterator is that it does not require any extra memory. It does not allow modification and always provides original data. Now in case of fail safe iterator it allows modification of collection while iterating over it. So the data which you might be getting is an old data. Whatever you are having in the snapshot. The bad thing about fail fast iterator is that it throws concurrent modification exception if collection is modified while iterating. But in case of fail safe iterator, it requires extra memory to clone the collection. So there is an overhead of extra memory. And it throws unsupported operation exception if we try to use methods like remove, set, and add on iterators itself. Now in case of fail fast iterator, there is no overhead of extra memory as the original collection is used, which is not the case in case of fail safe iterator. Examples of fail fast iterators are array list, hash map, and in case of fail safe iterator it's copy on write error list concurrent hash map so guys if you have liked my video then subscribe to my channel for more updates hope you have found this video useful and thanks for watching goodbye